So we just got done painting this flower on this flower mural wall and I'm about to show you how to do it. So let's get started. So as you can see, there's so this is actually a whole wall mural of flowers and this is right at the end where we have a lot of purple in here. And so over, over here, I'll show you in a second, but over there we have a bunch of pinks and purples, but over here it's predominantly purple. So let's add in some pink why don't we and we're going to be using this flower reference photo and yeah so putting it right along in here so i have it chalked out first and um, that's always just a huge help is just to chalk it out i actually used a projector when doing this one so i did i projected um, a bunch of different flowers onto the wall and i kind of like moved them around switched some directions and then just chalk outlined them because it's really easy to get to just get a visual with a projector and it saves so much time um if you know how to draw use a project projector if you do not know how to draw take the time to learn before you rely on a projector but if you already know and you want to speed through it and get to the painting part do it so okay we're going to be adding a bit more pink into this flower than are in those so Right here we've got some Arteza colors. I'll put them at the bottom of the screen. We're using Arteza that's just like, we're actually using Arteza outdoor acrylics because that's just what I brought right now. <laughs> so yeah, um, interior latex paint, um, interior acrylic. You can really use anything on this kind of wall. So we are gonna start by mixing just a really dark pink color. Not really dark, but like really pink. So, oh, that's really, that's really dark. I'm just mixing in here. There we go. There we go. Let's get a little bit more pink. So I've been using purples to do this. So it's really easy to take purple from your palette that you've already been using and use it but not this time. Okay, so now we've got just a ton of just really dark pink right in here. We used a little bit of black, a little bit of pink, um, a little bit of white. It's just kind of mix it until you think it's where you want it. And then I'm gonna go through, I'm actually just gonna pre-mix. Mix a bunch of white in here and a bunch of pink. So that way we have a really good highlight color. We've got this really light pink for a highlight and then a really dark pink for the shadows. Okay, now we're just gonna start with the shadows. Now, I'm just gonna go and look, basically look back and forth from the reference photo. Let's see. I actually just did um, a tutorial or a video over a flower that I painted over there and I was like, I'll just do it again as a different kind of flower just in case you want to go the extra mile and learn how to do another one. So if this is the first flower tutorial you're seeing, there's another one. <laughs> if this is the second one, I'm so glad you watched both of them. I am just going through and putting dark pink in the dark places of the flower. I might speed this up a bit because really it's kind of boring. I mean, it's really satisfying to cover a lot of ground when you're just blocking in, you know, but really that's all I'm doing is just blocking in. It's satisfying, but I'm like, that's like, what do I tell you guys? Like, that's just all I'm doing right now. So. So like following along, I can almost, I might just fast forward through this little part just to get to the good stuff. But just looking back and forth, filling in the areas.
a lot of dark pink. Okay, here we go. Now all the dark places are basically filled in. Okay, so now I'm gonna put just a little bit of light pink in my mixture. So I'm basically just upping the brightness or the lightness of it just a little bit. So I've got my dark, my light, and then I'm mixing the color in between. And I'm basically just gonna go around and fill in the colors, fill in the rest of it with that color. Just looking back and forth in my photo just to keep it just to keep it looking like the photo. Reference photos are everything. Usually when it's not working out the way I want it to, a painting is just not looking right. It's because I'm not looking at the reference photo. I'm like, oh yeah. Filling it in <coughs> so quickly with me. It's like, if it's not a quick painting, I'm kind of uninterested. Anything that takes longer than like a few hours, I'm like, okay, this is getting boring. <laughs> let's, let's finish it. Okay, now that we've got it mostly filled in with color, this is the middle portion right here. Now we can really start to do a little bit more detail work. So I like to get it just filled in with the right colors. And then we can start to do some detail stuff. mixing just a little bit darker of a color. So now that we've got our base on here, I'm actually going to emphasize some points and make them even darker with a darker color. So we've got like the main areas darker spots. We're just looking at the looking at the reference photo and seeing where it's darkest and putting those areas in. Like it's not everywhere. Just in these like super shadowed areas. Yeah, that just like it really just makes it look a little bit more 3D. Gives it that pop. Okay, now that it's all basically filled in, I'm gonna blend back some of these dark spots really quick. They're dark, but not, not like harsh dark. Here we go. Okay, now we're gonna work on 
some highlights. I'm gonna get the big brush and get the really light pink color. And start doing some highlights. Okay. Um, let's start with, we'll just start with the big one. This one's the big one out here. Start by just kind of working it in, get your brush on the outsides of it, and just kind of let the brush do a little bit of texture in there. Like that. Kind of like the petal kind of comes out and meets the light, whereas when it's inside right there, it doesn't get a whole lot of light on the inside. So just keeping it super light out here and dark the middle gives it more of a 3d effect now let's just work our way over right in here this flower petal is kind of like moving all around here This one's kind of folding right in here. Just blend it down. And then it, this is not the final highlight. We're going to come back and do a bit more. But this is just another layer on there. So now I'm taking a small brush that has just a little bit of dark color on it and blending it. There we go. That way the dark and the lights blend together just a bit more. following the reference photo. Playing with the darks and the lights. <laughs> yeah, just adding that highlight, this really helps to bring it out. And then the more highlight you add, the more forward, the more out it will bring it. just put that highlight out there and then worked it back in with the dark brush. Just taking my brush and going in towards the middle and then taking the brush and blending it. So it's really just back and forth. Back and forth. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm working over here to this petal. It's really just the same kind of thing. Putting some light colors on the outside, pulling it in, a little bit of dark and blending it back just like that now. and again until we are done
Okay, now we've got the majority of it covered. Now it's time to go and put in some more details in here. So I'm going to mix in just a bit more white into my really light pink mixture. And get it at just a really big highlight, really strong. Okay, and so this is just white with a little bit of pink. We're going to go along here and highlight the edges. And really like pay attention to these shapes that are in here. That one kind of comes up and comes back down. So now that we've got this is basically done. <laughs> so basically we just did a dark color and then gave some uh, highlights on the outside, blended them down, and then put an even stronger highlight on it. And now we're going to put like a little bit of a yellowy highlight. Yellow really has like a just a really good warmth to it. I like to put a little bit of yellow on it just to like feel like the sun is hitting it almost. Go just in certain spots, not everywhere. There we go. you paint a flower <laughs> um in just a super quick fast way i actually did another one uh peony and i spent a little bit more time explaining that so if you would like to watch that one go for it so but it's basically the same kind of principle um put down a base coat of really dark colors cover the whole thing that's how i do it anyway not everybody does it like that and then just keep adding lighter and lighter and lighter colors and blending it back with two different brushes. So I have a big brush and a small brush and you just kind of blend them together as you go. So that's it. I'll see you in the next tutorial.